What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Once again, I'm so happy to have you here. I will roll out the red rug, the blue rug, the green rug, the red carpet, whatever colored carpet you feel like stepping on, but welcome. I'm glad to have you here and today we are playing another episode of Dawn of War 2. Now in the last episode we had run off the Eldar and we had also lowered the Tyranid infestation on the planet Meridian. Now we have an optional mission here that's only open for one more day to defend a foundry and I think I'm going to take it. You'll see that I've, add, add, I've added Thaddeus if I can speak. Nom 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 nom. Alright, I can speak, I swear. We'll put Thaddeus into the squad for now. I don't really know what use he's going to be but I can reasonably guess that he's going to be a little bit more defensible than possibly Cyrus for right now. He's got terrible gear. I don't really like bringing him along. He tends to be a little bit of a hassle. I don't really know how to use him appropriately. That's more my fault than his, though. So let's do our little briefing here, and then we will defend our foundry. The Tyranid swarm continues to ravage the sector, Commander. An entire horde is closing in on one of our automated foundries. These foundries allow us to resupply quickly and launch multiple strikes against our enemies. That advantage could be lost to us if this foundry falls to the Tyranids. Okay, so we get some Tarantula turrets, which I'm going to deploy the hell out of some Tarantula turrets on this one. Especially with Tarkus being where he is. Oh my god, there are going to be like Tarantulas everywhere. It's going to be like the Arizona desert. Let's deploy! They have Tarantulas in Arizona? I think they do. I've seen Tarantulas like in Southern California when I'm on surveys. So I'm fairly positive. They probably have those big old buggers down there. Those big hairy little suckers. Get all up in your sleeping bag. Feel a tickle on your leg while you're sleeping. Yee! Let's drop on in. The can weather an attack, but the generators powering it are much more fragile. If the swarm destroys those, we will no longer have access to the foundry, regardless of its state. Then they will not fall. Let's drop in our tarantulas now. I suppose we'll put one right there, and they are coming in hot already. Let me see what I can do with Thaddeus. Force Commander is going to be doing the same thing. Get them off the generator while you can. Force Commander is going to need to teleport into here. Let me move Tarkus down. Oh my god. There are so many of them down there. Let's consider... ...getting everybody into cover that we can. It's not so bad, but let me see what kind of positioning I can get people into, because that is a lot of guys. And I've got to relearn my controls here. And he's got one more left, so let's just drop it like right in the center. Maybe it'll rotate and do what we need it to do. We've picked up the Soaring Truth. Do a little bit of damage to that Nid right there. Alright, the Warrior's down. Very nice, and with these guys back here, I don't think we're going to need an excuse right now. We've got 20 seconds. Let's get everybody back to the front lines. That almost went very, very poorly. We've got to defend the generators. There's no cover, though. That's the big problem that I'm seeing. Let's put Avatus in there so that he's got full range of everything here. We're going to get hit from this direction. Let's go ahead and Force Commander. We're going to teleport him in to right there. And then we're going to jump our good friend in over here, if we can. With Avatus, we're going to throw a grenade at that group. And that should thin the herd a tad. We're going to teleport the Force Commander back in. We're going to have... God, we've got to do something here. We've got, like, no cover. Maybe get them in right there. Think about throwing a grenade off that way. There it is. Force Commander, get back in there. He's taking care of all that. Maybe get... Yeah, let's have Thaddeus jump into this one again, too. Do a little bit of damage. These defensive missions always feel very, very frantic to me. Especially since the cover is very, very limited in this level. We've only really got this little pipe right here. They're coming back to here, so I guess I could have set up a little bit smarter. Still... They've got to hit these generators, which makes me kind of flush out a tad. Basically, I am the turd in this metaphor, and I am being flushed. I am being flushed violently. Let's bring Thaddeus back. Force Commander managed to kill him off. He did a nice little fart bomb explosion. A little terrifying. 
Where are we getting hit from? Over here. Okay. So, let's have the rest of our Marines down in here. And let's jump into the melee if we can. There it is. Force Commander get in there too with the one-two punch. Oh, wow. We flattened him. Okay, that works out fine. I'll take a flattening. A flattening over a bolstering. Maybe think about teleporting him into right there. They have no jump left. Let's wait till their jump is back up. We'll get them in right there. Force Commander is going to need to use a med kit to get them nice and patched up. Let's go ahead and bolster everything we can down here. Get all of our nice melee damage nice and kitted out. Make sure that everybody is swinging for heavy damage. A relic heavy bolter. He's chucking grenade fire, and I know having these little melee fights down here is probably a bad tactical choice. But then again, I like a scrum as much as the next guy. Might be worthwhile to draw him back into the ranged fire a little bit better. I mean, we don't have any major losses occurring, but... Let me have my... Regular attack marines bust these crates open really quickly. And we'll recover as many med kits as possible, since that seems to be the... Prime directive over here. It's not letting me loot that one. We're still getting hit from low. And we've got our next wave coming along. Let's think about mining like crazy. Let's get them into position. Force commander. Get everybody up here. Get Avatus out and ready to go. There is some minor crater. Oh god, there's more over there. Never mind. Get in the get in the bunker. Get in the bunker. Force commander, you are over here. I thought they said they were coming from this direction. Let's jump him into this combat over here. The Honor of Terra. Let's get some focused fire going on over here. Force Commander, I need over here. We're going to buff up our melee attack as well. Make sure that he's just always yelling for glory and honor and all kinds of sentimental things. We'll put some more mines right there. Jump back into the melee now that everybody's... Let's get Tarkus back in over here. I guess they're not going to come from that direction. I saw two arrows and I panicked. Oh, there's a Carnifex. That's really fun. Okay, so let's... Assault Squad, get the hell out. Assault Squad, run. Run, run, run. Let's actually just jump him out of the way so that the Carnifex can't follow him anymore. Because he is just a big juicy target. Let's throw grenades at the Carnifex. Oh, they're still coming after him. That Carnifex is very focused. He's very focused. As they said in Hellboy. There we go. We dropped him. So we've maintained our holdings here on Meridian, which is always a very... No oh, good. He blows up too. Is there anything about a Carnifex that's pleasant? Like, does he, like, fart candy at some point or do anything that really redeems him? The Wolf's Bodding. Level 6 power armor. Terrible. Probably just going to sacrifice it. Let's see what our reward is here. Very nice. Not bad at all. Two additional deployments. You can't ask for anything better than that. So we're going to get double deployments here. Loot? Not a whole lot, but it was a limited mission. That's actually a buffed up. That's going to give him more suppression resistance. He's going to be completely and totally immune to being suppressed if we go any further. Well done, Commander. Losing a foundry would have been a devastating blow to our supply lines. Chapter records make reference to some sort of synapse link among the Tyranids. What is that? The entire Hive fleet is connected through some sort of psychic network. The larger beasts act as relays of a sort. So long as they are nearby, the countless gaunts and other beasts all act with a unified purpose. Without this link, the lesser creatures revert to a more bestial state. We can use this to our advantage. Yes, somewhat. Killing one of these synapse creatures can cause backlash among surrounding Tyranids. The problem is that there is always another synapse creature ready to fill the gap. But killing a synapse creature does buy us time. Alright, so because the mission is short for now, I think what I'll do is we'll cut two missions here. We're going to do two. We've got double deployments. So we might think about finding another defense mission somewhere. Let's take a look around and see what deployments we have. Special assignment, nothing there. On Typhon, nothing there. 
some minor orc engagements. Well, let's level up really quickly. And we do have some new armor. Wow. 80 health. That's a lot. Maybe I won't do a second mission. Maybe I'll just upload this one separately. We'll kind of do like a double whammy when this one goes down because I feel bad about such a short episode. This is absurdly short. There's nothing really new to equip there with him. Let's give him... Oh, yeah. We wanted to regain health when he kills somebody in combat. That'd be super badass. And I want to keep continuing over to here where no mercy, no respite, or respite, respite, however you want to say it, respite. The battle cry is active. It makes him so he one-shots most lower level units, which is pretty cool. Tarkus here. Tarkus, what do I want from you, my friend? The relic heavy bolter. Not so good, but still, that's kind of sad. It's better than his level 8 one. He can use a missile launcher, but I'm just going to wait till something better drops, I guess. Let's see if there's any armor to give him. He's level to 11. We'll keep moving down this way so that he gets energy back for everything that he kills. 9% melee damage, range damage. That'd be nice. But he's really accurate right now. No, these are really tempting me. Crimson Immortality we can get rid of. The Blighted Power Armor. I think we turn that into Terminator Armor later, if I remember correctly. We can get rid of that, too, because it's no good. We'd probably get away with getting rid of the Relic Heavy Bolter. And then let's jump onto Tarkus, and we'll keep leveling him. He can be immune for a little while. It might be nice to give him another loadout slot. But let's continue our goal to get him Veteran Squad Mates. And then finally, we've got to look at Cyrus, who has leveled up alongside everybody else. He's now able to grab Advanced Infiltrate. And at this point, I think it's a good ability to keep moving him down the line. And maybe think about getting him. What else does he have, though? He has Smoke Grenade. His ultimate ability there allows him to reinforce himself, which is pretty cool. And he can res people instantly. But maybe we'll just keep moving down towards Mark Target so that he becomes kind of a scout, dealing all kinds of damage and leeching points off other people in multiplayer games. Anyways, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in this little short episode. I'll upload two at the same time so that we can move a little bit quicker. I know I'm not going to make it through another mission, though, without ending up with an enormous file size. So I'm going to cut it right here, and then I'll do two episodes on the day this goes up. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in just a few moments.